Don't Worry Darling. It was directed by Olivia Wilde and stars Florence Pugh and Harry Styles. And I'm very excited to give you guys my review for this movie. If you've seen it, be sure to leave a comment of what you thought about this movie as well. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into this review. So in this movie, a 1950s housewife living with her husband in a utopian experimental community begins to worry that his glamorous company could be hiding disturbing secrets. Now, I didn't know much about this movie going into it. I just watched it the other day because it's now on streaming and I had heard mixed things about it, so I just wasn't sure. I didn't really watch many trailers for it to really get an idea what it's about. Like, I just read the synopsis off IMDb of what this movie's generally about. And yeah, so I heard mixed things. So I decided oh, to see how it hits, if it hits for me or not. And for the most part, it was okay for me. It's a, definitely a mixed bag. For me, the first two acts were decent. I they weren't. It wasn't great at any point other than like performances, but the movie overall for me was never great. But the first two acts were pretty decent. The performances definitely, for the most part, were great. Florence Pugh definitely stole the show. She was great in this movie. I think all the performances were really good even. Harry Styles I thought was actually pretty good in this. I was never like distracted by his performance so I thought he did a pretty good job. And the story in this for me got more interesting throughout the first and second act as they started to slowly reveal more things and they're setting up this mystery of what's going on. And there's definitely parts where I was like intrigued with what, what was going on. And for the most part, I was enjoying what it was setting up. There were some interesting moments. There were some moments where I sort of felt like they were going for style over substance, but there was just a couple moments like that. But for the most part, those first two acts, I was like, okay, this is, this seems to be interesting. Like it's a slow paced movie, but it was mostly working. There's a few scenes where it was getting kind of wanted to move forward. But it, it was interesting. It, first two acts, like it gave me those, the feels I got watching uh, Get Out or Nope. Like I felt like that kind of a movie where it's setting up this mystery and it's gonna have this, maybe like a message to it. So yeah, for the first two acts, like I said, it wasn't great for me, but I thought it was decent. I was mostly enjoying it. It was the third act that lost me and for me the third act it, the movie kind of completely fell apart because of the reveal of this movie like it was setting up this really interesting mystery and it, it was actually funny there were actually moments of this movie where it's like it, it was just sort of reminding me of actually even some like first contact type movies like um encounters of the third kind they're just parts of the movie where it's just kind of reminding me of that and i was just very intrigued with where it was going and then when you get the actual reveal, I was like, oh, that, that's it. That's, it just wasn't very interesting what was actually going on. I was like, okay. Especially cause like the setup throughout, out, like the build up to this mystery was just getting higher and higher for me. Like I said, I, I was getting more and more interested. And in the second act, there was this really good scene where there a bunch of people are at this little party at the uh, Florence Pugh's character's house. They have at this dining room table. And um, the guy uh, who's played by Chris Pine, who's running the whole, this whole thing, he's there. And at this point he's caught on that, uh, she, she suspects that there's something up, that not everything's right. He knows that. And she sort of confronts him about it with everybody around at this scene. And it was actually a very exciting scene. And like Florence Pugh's performance throughout this was great. And in this scene, it was great. Chris Pine was great. It was a, like a really fun, like great, very well done scene. Sorry, I'm not speaking too well today. But it, yeah, it was, it was really good, very like engaging and intense, I thought. And then once you sort of find out a little bit after that, what's actually happening, you're like, oh, that, it's just that, which like looking back on it, the reveal of what they were actually doing just sort of feels like it was kind of maybe the easy way to go with this for like answering the questions to this, the, the mystery that was being set up in this movie. I was like, oh, okay. It was just kind of 
the idea was kind of just boring, like not very exciting. So I just fell flat. And at that point I was starting to just check out mentally because I was just like, okay, well that's that. It just sort of, you had my interest building for the first two acts and then it just, just plummeted. And yeah, that was very unfortunate because I think if the third act had landed well with me, I would have said, yeah, it was a pretty decent little film. Not, again, probably still not great, but decent, a good movie. But yeah, that really just dropped the ball. I'm like, yeah, first two acts were overall pretty good, but that third act really let the movie down for me. And I just, the whole thing, the way it resolved to just sort of, in a way, just didn't feel like it fit the rest of the movie because it became more action heavy. Like there's a big car chase and everything through this desert. It just, to me, it just didn't really feel feel like it fit with the rest of the movie. But that's just me. Other people may disagree. And other people may disagree on the reveal. They may really like it. For me, I'm just like, oh, it was just that. So yeah, for me, don't worry, darling. It's definitely not as bad as a lot of people think. Like if they think it's that bad, that's fine. But for me, it's definitely not as bad as some people say it is but it's not very good either. For me, I would give Don't Worry Darling a 55%. Like I said, first two acts were mostly working for me, but that final act just really, really dropped the ball, unfortunately. So guys, if you have seen this movie, let me know what you thought about it. As well, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more reviews coming real soon. And until my next review, take care, everybody.